do my eyes deceive me or did I just see an electric motor in a 57 Chevy? Yeah, you saw it. What? We saw it and we're going to make sure you get to see it. We went to the Berger Chevrolet all GM car show today in our town, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And what was there? The 1957 Project X car from Hot Rod Magazine. This car has seen so many different motors and transmissions, but now, as we saw, it's an all electric drivetrain. And Sarah, I got to talk to the guy that built it. You did? Yeah, Victor Kegnazzi. And we're going to let you hear what he had to say about the project. So don't go anywhere. You need to see that. Yes. And as we talk about the bringing the past into the future, stay tuned because later in the episode, we're going to talk about a company that's bringing the future to the present, and that's Aptera Motors. And we'll explain how you can pre order your own three wheeled electric solar powered Aptera. But right now, right now, let me turn it over and show you what Vic Kignazzi had to say to us about Project X, the 1957 electric. Chevy, here you go. Hi everybody, I'm Vic Cagnazzi from Cagnazzi Racing, actually part of the General Motors team worked on E-Crate here. Uh, this is a really unique and iconic 57 Chevy. For those that don't know about it, it was originally the hot, the part of the Hot Rod Magazine board in 1964 to basically have as a test bed to test all different kinds of performance parts and different types of things that readers would then write in about and they'd say, hey, we'd like to see what a small block Chevy would look like with a dual quad, or we'd like to see a, a turbo 400, or we'd like to see something. So over the past, let's call it 40 years or so, this car has had 20 or 30 different drivetrains in it. And the latest drivetrain that we've done for it is actually a joint venture between, between Hot Rod Magazine and Chevrolet, and it's called E-Crate. So Chevrolet has developed this package, which is a drop-in EV kit for a regular conventional cars. So you basically remove the conventional drivetrain, uh, engine, transmission, radiator, all the fuel tanks, everything, and this whole EV kit pops in there. It's really, it's not a very difficult conversion to do. It probably take, uh, takes about, I don't know, let's say, five or six weeks to do it, but at the end of the day you have a high performance EV package in a, in, in a traditional car. So unlike a, a Tesla or something which is all modernized, this is modernized in the drivetrain, but it's really a conventional hot rod on the outside. And it's actually very fast. It's got a, it's got 340 horsepower. And for those that are not familiar with electric motor packages, it's instant torque. So it's 340 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque, but the minute you step on the throttle. You can go to the Hot Rod Magazine website, you can go to Chad's website, you can basically look at the details on it, and it'll tell you really how it did in the performance package. And it's really something really unique. I'm really excited to be involved in it. Big thank you to Kignazzi Racing and Vic for talking to us. We really appreciate you taking the time, and what a cool thing you guys did. If you want to learn more about this racing team, then go ahead and go to their website, kegnaziracing.com and learn more. And this was done with a GM crate motor, so yep. pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. GM's Do you have this. a classic car? Do you wish it was electric? Yeah, Check it put out. in a GM crate motor and, and you can turn your classic car into this magnificent critter. And we walked around it and this is a 57 Chevy in every possible way. It's beautiful. It looks exactly like you said inside it's and so out. cool. Even when you get in the interior, you're expecting to see Big computer displays and stuff. No, it looked like the interior of a 57 Chevy. Right, which is why I had to ask Vic, could you start it for us? And his first response was, you, it doesn't make any noise. You can't hear it because everybody's revving up all their engines at the car show. I said, no, I know that because I have an electric car. I know they're silent. I said, but I want to see the, the instrument panel. I want to see what it looks like when you boot it up. So what did he do, Sarah? Did he just like push a big red button? Did he reveal some control panel? Did he put in some code? Or how did he start it? It was so cool. Cause you know, our Nissan Leaf. Did he do it with a thumbprint? Our Nissan Leaf is push button start. Uh, your mom's BMW i3 is push button start. So I'm thinking there's probably somewhere in here a button he's gonna push. He pulled out a key, an old fashioned key, like a, just like you would have started it in 1957 yeah. when it rolled off the lot and he put in the key. So after you put the key in, then it initializes and then you have to wait for this light and then it's ready to go. It's so, so cool. cool. So cool. So again, a big thank you. Yes, Vic. thank uh, you. Thank you for taking the time with us. We really, really appreciate it. Some other things he told us too, you know, this was a partnership with Hot Rod Magazine and GM, because Hot Rod Magazine owns this car. 
as he explained, they use it for all kinds of testing, and it's had all kinds of different motors and transmissions through the years. Yeah. But when they took this thing to the track, you can see here on the cover of the Hot Rod magazine, that front wheel is off the ground. Off the ground. It's taking so much torque and so many horsepower, it just pulled it up, and then later, broke the axle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in 1957, they weren't building cars for efficiency and aerodynamics that could take the torque of an electric motor. Yeah, so right. that, that's a um, lot of weight to push yeah. awfully fast. It's now pretty yeah, epic. But really cool images yeah. of seeing it at the track and what it can do. So a big thank you and a big yeah. thank you to Berger Chevrolet, our local GM dealer for putting on this show. Yeah. Very cool. And Sarah, they're delivery cars for their parts? Yeah. Chevy Bolts? Yes! How smart is that? That is so cool. Wicked smart. <laughs> so thank you, Berger Chevrolet. Thank you, Cognazzi Racing. Thank you, Victor. Beautiful day. Yeah. It was so much fun being there. Now. Now. That company is, it took a piece of the past mm -hmm. and brought it into the future by making it all electric. Right. But not everybody's into the retro thing. Some people are a little more interested in looking ahead to the future and would like to see the future come to the present. So that is being done by a company called Aptera. Yeah, the solar powered electric vehicle we talk about quite a bit on this show. Have you pre-ordered yours yet? You know, it only costs three, uh, $100 to get your name in line because it's gonna take quite a while for production to meet demand with the Aptera, yeah. in our opinion. And they just got a $22 million grant from the state of California, pushing them ever closer to production. Mm -hmm. And Sarah and I are flying to San Diego just to specifically to see the Aptera in person. And we'll show you videos from that trip. Yes. And we're going to go to Fully Charged Live. Yep. And then we're going to come home to Michigan. Yep. Drive the BMW i3 across the state to Detroit for the yep. Detroit Auto Show. You'll get to see all of that yes. right here. We're going to bring it all to your screen. I drive the lightning to Positively Charged channel channel okay <laughs> so a big thank you also to our members thank you thank you thank you, thank you. back to the Aptor pre-order it costs a yes. hundred dollars unless you use a code like the one that's in the description that code means you can order pre-order your Aptor for just seventy dollars yep but Aptor will give you credit for a hundred dollars so Sarah how much free money is that that's thirty free dollars thirty free dollars all compliments of one of our viewers Chris May Chris, thank you for the link. Thank you for saving everybody $30 and getting them in line for the Aptera. Yeah. And Chris and may get $1,000 off Chris's Aptera if you use the code in our description. Good point. Good point. So uh, if you want to know why it's Chris's code we're using. Thanks for watching Drive the Lightning, where we get a charge out of driving. If you want to see more videos about the Aptera or other electric vehicles, then we'll put some at the end right over my head. And you can just click on that. If you haven't subscribed yet, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. <laughs> just go ahead and hit the button. Helps us. Hopefully we add value to you.